expiration of the Purim dates. This is either the 13th, either the 14th, either the 15th. The reason why we call it Ta'anit Esther is not because Esther made that three-day fast for all the Jewish people. The reason why it's because on the 13th, this is the day that all the Jews were going to be killed. This is the date of the decree. And they could not get rid of that decree. The only thing that the Jews could do at the end of the Purim story is make another decree that they have the right to defend themselves, to fight. Which would mean that that's what they did on the 14th. There was only one single Jew who didn't require the need to defend herself. That was Esther. Therefore, she was the only one that was able to fast. Those that needed to defend themselves could not fast. That's why we call it Tanit Esther. Esther was safe in the palace fasting on that day. The day where all the Jews could have been killed and we commemorate that day by fasting and davening. The 14th is the victorious day, the day that they won the war. So we celebrate, that is the day of Purim. But then in the city of Shushan, the capital, the war continued on the 15th. And that's why until today, a city that is walled from the times of Yehoshua Binyan, the times of Joshua, that city celebrates a second day of Purim because the war continued and they won on that day on the 15th after. That's why it's called those three days.